Hello everybody, it's Donna from Riverside Beads here and today we're going to do a wine glass charm tutorial. Now these are a lovely quick simple make and wine glasses are, uh, wine glasses, you know what wine glasses are, but wine glass charms are for personalising your wine glass. So if you, you can see on the picture here, if you change the colours of your, your beads um, and then change your charm, you can personalise it so you know whose glass is who. So if you're at a party or at Christmas dinner and you're all having wine and you want to make sure you're picking up the right glass so you know whose is whose, these are just perfect. Now they make a great gift as well as being a lovely functional piece to have for home decor. So today I'm going to show you how to make those in a few easy steps. Riverside Beads do a kit um, to make these, so I'll show you the assortment of different beads that you get within that. So let me bring that over now. And hi, I'm Donna, for anyone who doesn't know me from Riverside Beads. Um, so this is the stash of bits that you get in your kit. I've used some of these. This is a part done kit and, and some of them I've already made up. Quite love this kit, so I keep dipping into it. I've made a couple of presents myself out of it. You get an assortment of charms and it has to be that variety to obviously personalise the individual glasses. You don't want to end up with the same charm. So what you can do is do a selection of the different beads and a charm. Let's pick one that I've done the same. So that one. So I've used the same charm, but different beads around it. So you could always do it that way if you've got lots to do. But actually often, if you're making these as a gift, sets of five or six work quite well. So I've got a nice set of five done here with five different charms on so people can identify which is theirs for their glass. So I'll just bring that one up so you can see it. So you can see they've done an assortment of the different beads and then one of the charms off of it. So I'm going to show you how quick and easy these are to make. Now our kit, we sell the bits individually, so these are wine glass charm findings. They often get confused with earring findings, but they don't have an earring bit that you can hoop them onto. You would have to sort of wire it through if you wanted to. They are actually classed as wine glass findings. And we do these in a couple of sizes. So this one is a, a 20 mil, I think. And then we also do a 30 mil one as well, which we also use to make little um, Christmas tree charms too. So you've got a great assortment of charms to work with. So let me think about my colours. If I did, if I go, do you know, gold and silver might be rather nice. I've not done that. So you get an assortment of beads. I think we do three different types of seed beads, so you can have that variety. So there's the the gold, and here's the silver. And then. Uh, so yeah then we've got another one there as well so that's a kind of AB colour one but you also get these cubes in this particular kit as well so that, there is a whole variety that you can do so these ones are done with the cubes so just be a varied finish really from the uh, from the design that you do okay so let's have a little look at how to make these now you undo them here this is how they fasten around your wine glass stem so we just have to do a bit of imagination here that this is a wine glass stem and you open it up pop it round the stem like that and then fasten it on surprisingly i haven't got wine glass here at work I'd probably have in the cupboard if I'm really honest <laughs> for when we do little evening things or celebrations um, but that's how it would work around a stem so it opens up but to get the beads on we need to work a little differently so what we'll do is we'll take our flat nose pliers and we'll open up this now it is only it's, it's sort of if anyone's familiar with memory wire it remembers the size of its the shape of it so this one has been set into this shape so the beads are a little size eight seed beads, so they probably come in with like a, a, a couple of mil hole in the middle. It's quite a fine wire, like memory wire. So if you remember that, um, you know, memory wire isn't too particularly too thick. It tends to come in about a 0 0.7, 0 0.8, something like that. So this is this is that sort of wire. So most of your small beads will fit on there, so you can really create a nice effect on these. So I've opened that up there and just a little bit with my flat nose pliers because I do need to bend that back. And then what you have to do is tip it to one side a little. So we can't open it. it, it remembers its shape so it pings itself back. So you can either sort of hold it like that or just tip it down to one side. I'll try and do it this way so you can see me getting these on. So I'm popping those here and I'm just going to there and thread these on so you can do any pattern you want have a think about your design you might want to put two silver one gold something like that it's just a case of getting those all threaded on the um the wine glass charm so take your time think about your design think about what you 
you're looking to put on there. Coordinate it for people for Christmas presents. And I'll just keep threading these on. So any beads work on these within reason. So I've got about halfway there. I'll carry on a little. You want to go all the way on there. Like that. Keep going. And then we have the charm on afterwards. So you do get a few jump rings and the charms too. So some charms. Let's have a look at our designs here. Okay. That one, for example, that Christmas tree, I would need to thread that on as I go. Um, if I put a jump ring, it would change the direction of the charm because of the way the hole is. But most of them are going to want a jump ring add-in. So we'll add those on after. We'll go for that one. I quite like that one. Now, the thing with this, don't go... You need to go to the end, but not right to the end because we need to bend that back up again. So if I just keep going... Oh, I'd already done gold. Distracted by talking. So nearly there, a couple more. So this is about a 20 millimeter um, wine glass charm. We do up to, I think, 30 or 35 mil. Depends on how big your glass is, I guess. Um, and it's it's so happened that this one, oh, we'll finish if I can get the last one on, and hopefully finish on a gold one. So that one has started with the gold and finished with the gold. It won't always work like that, depending on the size of your bead. So let's just show you where I'm at so far. That is that one. And then what I'm going to do... Oh, they're all coming off. Hold on. I'm just get that last one back on. It doesn't want to stay on, does it? I'm just going to thread it on my pliers. Keep it up. Okay. Now I'm just going to grab hold of that with my flat nose pliers and just bend it back up in shape. Now, if you want to do that more than a couple of times, that will snap off. So it's the way that the wire will work. If you wiggle it forward and backwards too many times, it will snap off. So just once, get them on and then pop it back. If it did snap off, what you can do is bring the pliers further down here and sort of create another loop and it will just make it a slightly smaller wine glass charm. So it's, it's not, it's savable if you do happen to do that. So that's what we've got so far. Let's just zoom in a little on that. See if we can, oh, get the right bit on the camera. I'm a bit, my um, screen's on a bit of a lag. Might catch up in a minute and zoom in just a fraction. So that's where we've got to so far. So next thing we're going to do is add a charm on. Jump ring and the, I'll go for the snowflake one. Two pairs of flat nose pliers and open either side of the jump ring. Like that. So we're opening it up just a little. Putting the charm on. And then while I've got that in my hand, I tend to keep it all in um, open, holding onto it with the pliers. I'll find the middle point, or roughly, it doesn't massively matter. I've probably made this too tight now, haven't I? And I can't get that through. You can always thread the jump ring on as you're going to make sure you do have enough room for it. Find a space. Might have to do the unforgivable and undo it again and thread it on as I'm going. Okay, we'll, put, we'll get the jump ring on first. Let's not battle with charm and jump ring. Let's do just jump ring. Okay. One thing at a time. Jump ring. In there. Still not playing the game. Oh, it's because I wanted my matching beads, didn't I, either side. We will go in. I'll find a way. No, I'm going to have to open it a little more, I think, to get that through. Okay, it's trying it too small. So just opened it up a little more and got that through. Right, that's good. That's going to fit. So then we will just pop our snowflake charm on. And everything is holding there for us and close that back up again. There we go. So that is, and pop that back through there, which is to seal it. That is your wine glass charm finished oh i've lost my camera again so i can't see what you're seeing there 
that's it finished lovely so you can see i added it on with the jump ring like i say this one you would thread on as you go so if you've got any charms that go across ways like that with the hole you would just definitely thread them on and you saw i had a bit of trouble with the jump ring so um in that scenario you could always thread the jump ring on as you go in but you've still got to be able to grip it enough to to get that open and get that on so super cute i love these now they are on offer at the moment so they're down from I think it's 14 99 to 12 .99. We just have a small amount of stock made up at the moment. But hopefully we'll be... Uh, it's one I'd like to do as a bigger kit. So we've just got a small amount of this kit left. Um, so, yeah, that, that's how that works. So I think that's probably all, all to, to show you today. It's a very simple make. Um, if you're watching on Facebook, we uh, I'll come back and have a chat with you guys in a moment. And if you're with us on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Every Wednesday we post a video like this, so sometimes it's a quick make, sometimes it's a more detailed tutorial. Um, and if you're on Facebook with us, 3.30 every Wednesday we aim for. So take care everybody that's um, tuned in today, and we'll see you again soon.